Monero is one of, if not the most popular privacy cryptocurrency out there. In this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to mine Monero using nothing but your Apple Mac. And this is a really simple process. You don't need any coding skills or anything like that. And it can be done with any Mac you have. So it can be done with an iMac or a MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, even a Mac Mini. So how do you do it? I'm gonna show you that right now. Hey, I'm Ryan from cloudmoney.co and really excited to share with you how to mine Monero using your Mac. And to do it, we're going to use a very simple program called Minergate. Now I'll leave the links to Minergate in the description down below, but basically you go to their website and you just simply hit the download and start mining button. So if you go ahead and click that, it will now start downloading the Minergate software, which you can go ahead and install. Now, while you're at it, I also recommend that you get this program called SMC Fan Control, which is also completely free, and I'll leave the links in the description down below. Mining using your Mac generates a lot of heat, and so you need to keep your Mac cool, and that might mean that you need to turn up your fan. And so this allows you to monitor the heat of your Mac and to turn up your fan. So I've already installed Minergate, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that right now, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to mine Monero using your Mac. So when you install Minergate, you need to go ahead and create an account, which is really easy. It's just put in your email and create a password. I've already got an account so I can log in. If you're logging in, you can simply put your email and start mining. You don't actually have to put in your password. This means you can mine on any unsecure computer, any unsecure Mac that you want, and no one will be able to take your coins. So I could go over to my friend's house and install this and start mining on their computer with my account. Now that's probably not ethical, but you could do it. But because this is my computer, I'm gonna to go to extended mode and go ahead and log in. Now that we're logged in, I'll give you a quick run through of the program and we'll start mining some Monero. Now in the program, you've got your wallet, which has the coins. And if we click show all, there's a lot of different coins in there. The smart miner is where it will choose the most profitable coin for you and you can smart mine that. You've got the miner here where you can choose which coins you want to mine. Benchmark is you can actually do run through a benchmark and see how good your computer is. The iMac that I'm working on right now is kind of old, so it's not very good. Uh, achievements is just some badges and then obviously their support as well. So smart mining at the moment will mine Monero. Because Monero is heavy with memory, CPUs are not as disadvantaged in mining it compared to GPUs, like with something like Bitcoin, which is very heavy on the GPU. So that's what makes Monero something good to mine on the Mac. So if we click Smart Miner, it will go ahead and mine it. Now you can adjust how many cores you mine with. My computer has four GPU cores, so I can mine with all four, I can mine with as little as one, and that's going to affect how many hashes I can actually mine with. Now, some people have said that if they max out the CPU cores, if they go up to four, then it really slows down their computer and makes it sluggish. I haven't found that to be the case. I can mine with four cores and still do basic web browsing and all the basic stuff on my computer. But have a play with it and see what works for you. With my MacBook Pro, which is here, this has eight cores, so I can actually mine a lot faster with this one. At the moment, I'm getting about 60 hertz, as you can see, or 60 hashes, as you can see on my iMac, whereas on my MacBook, I get over 200. All right, so smart mining might mine Monero, which is XMR, or it might not. So if it doesn't, go to the miner section here, and I'll just hide some of these other coins because we don't need to see all of them, and go ahead and look for XMR, which you can see here, that's Monero. And you can go ahead and start mining with that. If you have a GPU as well, you can mine with your GPU also. I don't have a GPU unfortunately, so I can't mine with that. So now it's going ahead, it's mining. You can see this unconfirmed balance that I've built up. I just need to continue mining and then that will move over into my current balance and I can withdraw it to an account. Something that's also really cool about Minergate is that you can mine using multiple computers on the same account. So if I go ahead and on, I've got Minergate on my MacBook here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mining on that. And you'll see this little one here will change to a two in just a second. 
So you can see it's just moved to a two now. So this shows that there's two miners online. So I'm mining about 55 or 50 hashes here. And then on my MacBook, I'm mining about 200 hashes. So you can combine the power of multiple Macs to mine Monero if you wanted. And then once you've mined it and it's moved over into your current balance, then I recommend you go ahead and withdraw it for safety reasons. So simply click on XMR, you'll have a certain amount click withdraw and withdraw it into your own personal wallet so that's more secure and more safe. So there you have it. That is how you mine Monero using your Apple Mac. I will leave all the links to Minergate as well as that fan control in the description down below. The Minergate link is my affiliate link. So if you go through that, I do make a little bit, but it doesn't affect you or cost you more in any way. So thanks so much to everyone who goes through that. And if you want to learn more about mining cryptocurrency, then check out this video that I did on how to mine cryptocurrencies using your Mac, or go ahead and check out this video on cloud mining with Hashflare, where you can see that you can actually mine using other people's computers and GPUs. That costs money, but that's another way to do it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful. And until next time, I'll see you in the cloud.